Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to detect the operating system of the user using JavaScript. Now this can be useful for you if you are creating a website which behaves differently on different browsers. So in this video, I'll show you how to detect the OS and also the browser and the browser version of the user. So let's get started. Right, so here I have created this folder called detect OS and I just opened it with VS code. Now let's create an HTML file. So I'll just click on new file and I'll just name it index.html and we'll also create a JavaScript file. I'll just name it main.js and in VS code, you can just press exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. Right, let's link our JavaScript file over here. So I'll just tap script and uh, in the SRC, I'll just tap main.js. Right now for detecting the OS, we're going to use a library called platform.js. So just search for platform.js and you'll find this link. And the first thing we need to do is we need to get the CDN link of this platform.js library. So you can just Google for platform.js CDN and you'll find this link of cdnjs.com. So let's copy the link of platform min.js. So I'll just click on copy script tag and let's go back and I'll just paste it over here inside the body just before the script tag. And uh, now if you go back to the library, here if you scroll down and here you can find the example. So you can just type platform.name for the browser and platform.version for the browser version. And then here we have platform.os for the operating system. So let's see how to display these information. So let's go back and uh, I'll just create some divisions. Let's create a division and in that I'll just type browser. And here I'll just create a span for the value. So I'll just give it a class of browser and here we will display the browser. So it will have Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer and so on. Right now let's display the browser version. So I'll just create a division and let's type browser version and let's create a span and let's give it a name of browser version. And let's also create one more division for the OS. So let's type operating system. And let's create a span and let's give it a class of OS. Right now let's display these values. So let's go to a main.js file and let's reference these spans. So let's create a constant and let's name it browser. And let's set it equal to document.querySelector. And we have a class called browser. And let's create another constant and I'll just name it browser version equals document.querySelector browser version. And then lastly, we have the OS. So let's tap const OS equals document dot query selector OS. Right now we can simply add the values to these spans. So I'll just tap browser dot inner HTML equals platform. So if you go back to the library here, we can see it says platform dot name for the browser. And now let's tap browser version dot inner HTML equals platform dot and uh, we can type version. So let's type version. And then we have the OS. So let's type OS dot inner HTML equals platform dot and we can just type OS. Right now let's see how it works. So let's open this in our browser. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS code. So you can simply right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And now here we can see that the browser is displayed over here. We can see that Chrome is displayed and then we have the browser version. And then we have the operating system displayed over here. Right now, let's right click over here and click on inspect. And let's click on this button called toggle device toolbar. And now this is basically the iPhone. So here we can see we are selecting iPhone 12 Pro. And now let's refresh this page. And now we can see it says Safari and uh, we have the browser version. And then we have the operating system set to iOS. And uh, let's open the iPad. And let's uh, refresh this page. And now we can see we have a different browser for the iPad and uh, here we have the operating system set to iOS. Right now let's open an Android. So let's select Samsung and let's refresh this page. And now we can see that the operating system is set to Android. Now if you go back to the library here we can see there is one more option called product. So it is used for detecting if it is an iPad. So let's add that over here as well. So let's create a division and here I'll just type product and here I'll just create a span and let's give it a class of product. 
and let's go back to our main.js file and let's create a constant called product equals document dot query selector product and here let's tap product dot in our html equals platform dot product now if you go back here we can see that the product is set to this samsung version and let's select an iphone and uh, let's refresh this page and now we can see that the product is set to iphone and now let's select an ipad and let's refresh this page now we can see that the product is set to ipad now you can simply go ahead and add an if condition over here and uh, detect which of the operating systems the user is using and then you can display the website according to the operating systems so that's basically how you can detect the operating system of the user using javascript all right so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day